Since Kika first appeared in the PCB Cat World in 1992, it's gone through seven major versions and evolved into a serious alternative to commercial products. I've been using KitKat almost daily since version 4 when I published the first edition of KitKat Like a Pro. Once thought clunky and barely useful, it's now a solid, reliable CAD application. KitKat has been consistently closing the feature and performance gap against its commercial competitors. It's made leaps in adding powerful features and has significantly improved its stability. Combined with the benefits of free and open source software, I believe that KiCad is simply the best PCB CAD software for most use cases. One of those benefits is KiCad's very active and growing community of users and contributors. KiCad has a dedicated developer team supported by contributing organizations like CERN, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, Arduino LLC, and DigiKey Electronics. The community can donate to the KiCad project directly or via the Linux Foundation and CERN. The project uses this money to buy development time, pay for its servers, invest in its quality assurance framework, release major new versions such as versions 6 and 7, and much more. The KiCad community does not only support with money. These people write code, create and share libraries, and help others learn. They write documentation, record videos, report bugs, and share hacks. Another signal of the strength of the KiCad community is that KiCad includes completed or nearly completed translations to nearly 20 languages. No other CAD software that I'm aware of can boast this. This level of community support guarantees that KiCad's development will accelerate and continue to in the future. PCB manufacturers have also taken notice. Many of them now publish KiCad specific tutorials explaining how to order your boards. Some have made it possible to upload the KiCad native layout file from your project instead of generating multiple Gerber files. And finally, KiCad is part of an expanding CAD ecosystem. You'll find KiCad compatible component libraries on the internet's major repositories such as Snapita and Octopad, as well as native support in PCB project version control software for teams, such as catlab.io. KiCad's development and prospects have never been brighter than now. KiCad's roadmap has exciting new features and capabilities, such as grouping board objects into reusable snippets and a stable Python API. So why do I use KiCad? Well, that's because it's the perfect PCB software for my use case. I'm an electrical engineer with a background in electronics and computer engineering, but above all, I'm a technology educator and electronics hobbyist. The majority of my PCB projects eventually find themselves in my books and courses. My projects are very similar to those of other hobbyists in terms of complexity and size. I make things for my Arduino and Raspberry Pi courses. As a hobbyist, KiCad proved to be the perfect tool for me. Your use case may be different. You may be a university student completing an engineering degree. You may be a hobbyist or solo developer working in a startup company. You may be part of a team working on commercial projects that involve highly integrated multi-layer PCBs. To help you decide whether KiCad is right for you, I have compiled a list of 12 KiCad benefits. This list contained 10 items in the second edition of the book, and I've added the last two items to highlight additional benefits brought about with KiCad. Here they are. Benefit 1. KiCad is open source. This is very important, especially as I spent more time creating new and more complicated boards. Open source by definition means that the code base of the application is available for anyone to download and compile on their computer. It's why Linux, Apache, and WordPress essentially run the internet. All of them are open source. While I'm not extreme in my choices between open source and closed source software, whenever a no-brainer open source option does appear like KiCad, I take it. Benefit two. It's free. 
This is particularly important for hobbyists. CAD tools can be expensive. This is worsening with most CAD software companies switching to a subscription-based revenue model. When you are a hobbyist or student or bootstrapping for a startup, regular fees do add up. Not to mention that most of us would not be using even half of the features of commercial CAD software. It's hard to justify spending hundreds of dollars on PCB software when there is KiCad. This brings me to benefit three. So benefit three is that KiCad is unlimited. There are no standard, premium and platinum versions to choose from. It's a single download and you get everything. While there are commercial PCB tools with free licensing for students or hobbyists, there are always restrictions on things like how many layers and how big your board can be, what can you do with your board once you have it, who can manufacture your board, and much more. And there's always a risk that the vendor may change the deal in the future where you may have to pay a fee to access your projects. I'll say again, Kikert is unlimited forever. This is so important that I've chosen to pay a yearly donation to CERN that is higher than the cost of Autodesk Eagle license to do my part in helping to maintain this. Benefit four, KiCad has awesome features. Features such as interactive routing, length matching, multi-sheet schematics, configurable rules checker, and differential routing at professional grade. While you may not need to use some of them right away, you will use them eventually. You can add new features through third-party add-ons. The external auto router, which is also available as a plugin, is one example. The ability to automate workflows and extend capabilities through Python scripting is another example. Benefit five, Kikad is continually improved. Especially in the last two or three years, I've seen a very aggressive and successfully implemented roadmap. When I wrote the first edition of this list in August 2018, KiCad 5 was about one month old. The funding for KiCad 6 was already complete and the roadmap living document was published. In 2021, KiCad 6 was delivered with promises fulfilled. And in early 2023, KiCad 7 was published. And KiCad 8 is expected in early 2024, less than a year from now. Benefit 6. KiCad's clear separation of schematics and layouts is a bonus to learning and using it. Users of other PCB applications often find this confusing, but I believe it's an advantage. Schematic design and layout design are indeed two different things. Schematic symbols can be associated with different footprints that depend on the project requirements. You can use the schematic editor independently of the layout editor or in sync. I often create schematic diagrams for my courses that have no intention to convert into PCBs. I also often create multiple versions of a board using the same schematic. This separation of roles makes both scenarios easy. Benefit seven, I can manufacture my boards anywhere. I can upload my project to any online fabricator that accepts the industry standard Gerber files. I can upload it to an increasing number of fabricators that accept the native KiCad layout file. And of course, I can make them at home using an etching kit. Benefit eight, KiCad works anywhere. Whether you are a Mac, Windows, or Linux person, you can use KiCad. I use it on all three platforms. I can take my KiCad project from the Mac and continue working with it on Windows or Linux without worrying about any software or project file glitches. Benefit nine, KiCad is very configurable. You can assign your favorite keyboard hotkeys and mappings, and together with the mouse customizations, you can fully adapt it to your preferences. With the additions of the plugin system, the Python API, and its command line interface, it will be possible to extend your instance of KiCad with the exact features you need, or write them, and automate it through scripting. Benefit 10. If you are interested in creating analog circuits, you will be happy to know that KiCad ships with SPICE. 
you can draw the schematic in EE Schema, a schematic editor, and then simulate it in SPICE without leaving KiCad. This integration first appeared in KiCad 5, and it's now a stable feature that can take full advantage of SPICE's capability through a simple user interface or scripted modeling of the various symbols. Benefit 11. In the past, KiCad's release cycle was somewhat chaotic. New major versions would come out every two or three years, but no one knew ahead of time. Now, KiCad operates in a yearly release cycle. This is good for two reasons. One, commercial users who can now better predict how the software they depend on will change and when. Two, as Kikit users, all of us will be able to expect a reliable development schedule that prioritizes reliability. Kikit is now mature enough to be able to evolve predictably. And benefit 12. Kikit is now a serious productivity tool for businesses. If you are an electronics engineer, you can proudly list it in your resume. If you are using it in your business, you can contract KeyPro, the KiCad Services Corporation, to customize the software to your exact requirements. I'm talking about deep customization, not just changing the theme in the menu bars. This means that KiCad can fit precisely with your business. As far as I know, no commercial CAD application can do that. For the non-business users among us, we can expect many of these business-led improvements to flow into the future software versions in the tradition of open source software. These are the 12 most important reasons I've chosen KiCad as my tool of choice for designing PCBs. These reasons might not be suitable for you, but I hope you'll consider at least reviewing this course before making your own decision. Over the last 10 years, I've packed almost everything I've learned as a KiCad user in this course. I've organized it in a way that will make learning KiCad quick. The objective of this course is to make you productive by the time you complete the first project in part four. If you come from another PCB CAD tool and have experience designing PCBs, I only ask you to have an open mind. KiCad is most certainly very different from your current PCB tool. It looks different and it behaves different. It will be easier to learn if you consciously put aside your expectations and look at KiCad like a beginner would. Let's begin. Now.